नमस्कार डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू टू अवर चैनल बाय बाय गुलाब सर एज वी हैव लर्न अबाउट एनिमल किंगडम नाउ नेक्स्ट लेसन इन ए सीरीज इज मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ फ्लावरिंग प्लांट यू आर अवेयर अबाउट मॉर्फोलॉजी एंड मॉर्फोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड दैट वी लर्न इन प्रीवियस वीडियो दिस इज ए फाइनल वीडियो ऑफ एलेवन का सिलेबस सिंस दे हैव इंक्लूडेड ओनली वन फैमिली सोलेनेसी earlier there were three families in syllabus fabaceae liliaceae and solanaceae so today we shall learn about family solanaceae before that i want to let you know that this year in neet national testing agency has included four more families and sure that we will learn in a sequence and i will have that lectures and videos uh, later on now today let us learn about family solanaceae what question can be asked in your school exam and what question can be asked in neet that will be the two parts of this video first part is in your school exam or board exam that what question can be asked describe family solanaceae with its floral formula and floral diagram or question can be asked what are floral formula and floral diagram describe family solanaceae with its morphological characters as it is with necessary diagram naturally student it is something practical it is not theoretical it should not be mug up or cram unless and until you understand all the terms which supposed to be used to denote and write morphological character it won't it becomes difficult so next we have already learned about different symbols and different terms which are used for different characteristics now that we have to use in this video as well this diagram you have to know it by heart or you must be in practice or practically you must see the flower of solanaceae you must see the plant of solanaceae aapne baigan tomato potato aur chili matlab mirch ka pauda dikha hi hoga aur wo kitne rehte hain 1 feet 1.5 feet height ke iska arth ye hota hai ya 2 feet zyada ya 3 feet tak ja sakte hain iska arth wo shrub hai main se mudi hai baki sab fleshy hota hai isliye usko hum shrub keh sakte hain तो हमको प्लांट देख के भी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक लिख सकते हैं जैसे कि वी हैव टू हैव सीक्वेंस ऑफ दैट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फॉर दैट फर्स्ट आई रेफर दैट सीक्वेंस एंड लेटर वी विल कम टू द अगेन पॉइंट सी हियर आई हैव केप्ट दैट सीक्वेंस ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक व्हिच सपोज्ड टू बी कंसीडर फॉर डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ फैमिली एंड यू आर अवेयर फर्स्ट पॉइंट शुड बी ऑफ हैबिटेट हैबिट रूट स्टेम लीव इंफ्लोरेसेंस फ्लावर्स कैलिक्स कोरोला androsium gynosium fruit seed and floral formula in this sequence we have to have that description and explanation so let you know with the help of this diagram that if we have to write habitat you know that tomato brinjal potato tomato brinjal potato and chili you are aware about this they used to grow in on the land they are not aquatic so habitat is terrestrial so that is what the first point you can see here that little habitat is terrestrial and found everywhere habit that they are three feet in height main stem is woody and rest of other branches are fleshy they are pretty shrub so most of them they are shrub very few are herb and very few are tree now see if we have to go in sequence for that characteristics then definitely we have to consider that observation so for next point after habitat and habit root we have to go in a sequence so root see how root it you already learn what term you can use for this root tap root it's very simple it is not a fibrous root so root tap root stem let's see it is erect profusely branched glabrous matlab solid hota hai more or it has hairs on it and that is important hairs means bristle like structures <coughs> they are present on it so even you would have seen on brinjal that persistent calyx with persistent calyx also has thorns like structure on it that means spiny structures not thorns spiny structures are present on leaves of that brinjal so that stem also has this hairy structure we call bristles they are spiny to protect stem from insect attack so stem is erect profusely branched glabrous and hairy this word we have to use and same i have written let you let you see in this point that stem erect profusely branched hairy glabrous very special that potato we do eat that potato is not a fruit 
but it is a stem and why because of having nodes and internodes on it because very characteristic of stem is presence of nodes and internodes so under the stem it is the point of need to be asked potato being stem being stem it is underground stem and that too we consider as a fruit but it is not so why because of presence of nodes and internodes so please note down this point second leaf before having this character reading this characteristic come to the diagram see this leaves they are very they are simple not compound they are alternate they are not opposite decussate or opposite superposed they are alternate with petiole see they have petiole everywhere they have petiole that is called corna danda as well as reticulate venation same with this observation if you can draw diagram you can write the point same same point we have written in that explanation see about leaf now see leaf simple pitulate this is what the pitule this is a pitule see they are alternate and reticulate venation so same what we observe simple pitulate alternate reticulate venation venation is reticulate and that what we observe in that diagram again continue see in that diagram after leaf inflorescence <coughs> solitary axillary axillary in the sense in the axis of the stem and leaf axillary solitary axillary or solitary terminal in in some other plant in brinjal it is axillary but in some other plant it is at the top it is at the top at the terminal end that is called solitary terminal but in brinjal it is not it is solitary axillary therefore in res inflorescence we have mentioned it solitary axillary see inflorescence solitary axillary or terminal in some plant so it's very easy with that observation to understand next flower see flower flower is pentamerous having five member calyx corolla androecium gynoecium and each one has five or in the multiple of five member therefore it is pentamerous calyx corolla androecium gynoecium and and bear because of presence of both sexes that is male and female it is bisexual so flower pedicellate has pedicel to this flower and therefore it is pedicellate this is a pedicel and hence it is called as pedicellate bisexual because both sexes are together gynoecium and androecium bisexual actinomorphic because when we make two part it can make into more than two plane so if flower is divided into two equal half by more than two plane it is called actinomorphic that is what different than that of bilateral symmetry it is a radial symmetry this is actinomorphic so flowers bisexual pedicellate bisexual actinomorphic hypogynous because super ovary is superior okay so by seeing that flower we can write the characteristic see under the heading of the flower pedicellate actinomorphic bisexual and pentamerous why pentamerous because five member in each one to understand that five member in each one once again come to the floral diagram see anthers are five petals are five calyx are five and hence it is pentamerous although ovaries are not five if any one has more or less members in that one it is not considered but three or more than three members if it has that five in one that means it we have to consider as a pentamerous very important that <coughs> in the flower is obliquely placed ovary that we will understand under the heading of gynoecium so here <clears throat> next point gynoecium you can see after that uh, androecium but before that flower you understood and calyx how many sepals are there to understand sepals are five come to the plant see outermost one is a whorl of sepals that is called calyx calyx sepal five one two three four five see they are fused gamosepals and aestivation is valvate because they are not overlap they are just touched to another but they are not overlap to be twisted or imbricate since they are just touched to another or not overlap therefore aestivation is one way what is aestivation mode of arrangement of sepals and petals in one in both the condition sepals and petals they have asti uh, one way aestivation so sepals once again five gamosepals aestivation one way now for corolla petals five one two three four five petals five gamo petal since petals are fused gamo petalus and aestivation again valvate so sepal and petal ke liye humko teen teen hi word use karne 
सेपल्स फाइव गैमो सेपल सॉल्व इट पेटल्स फाइव गैमो पेटल सॉल्व इट खत्म नाउ व्हाट इज एंड्रोसियम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सी ऑब्जर्व दिस डायग्राम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड्रोसियम व्हेयर व्हाट दैट स्टेमेंट्स आर दे हैव लॉन्ग एंथर आर लॉन्गर देन फिलामेंट स्टेमेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ एंथर्स एंड फिलामेंट हियर एंथर्स आर लॉन्गर देन फिलामेंट दिस इज अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ दिस फैमिली नाउ वंस अगेन स्टेमन फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव basic fixed filament is attached to the base moreover each stem attached to the petal and therefore epipetals once again stamens five epipetals t and rosy stamen five epipetals basic fixed dithicus anthers are longer than filament what does that dithicus means let us observe with this diagram see here each lobe anther has two lobe one and two each lobe have two thicca Each lobe has two thicca. Hence, it is dithicus. I hope you got it. Once again, anthers five. Basic fix dithicus epipetalus. What does it mean? What is the meaning of epipetalus? Anther attached with petal. See, they are attached. Now, gynosium bicarpel is syncarpel. These two carpels are there, but they are fused. Therefore, common wall is shown. Bicarpel is syn syncarpels. Two locules are there. Each ori has one locule, which consists of ovules on. Solen placenta. This is a solen placenta. If we consider <coughs> solen placenta. So see here, you can see this solen placenta. So for understanding, I wrote that sentence over there. Otherwise, it was of no importance in floral diagram. So this is a solen placenta. More very important. This is since it is a solen placenta. Ovules are attached to that placenta away from the axis. Therefore, it is called pre-central placentation. Once again, ovary is bicarpel is syncarpus, bilocular. Each ovary has many ovules and it is obliquely pressed. Moreover, superior ovary. See what region in that points is very important to once again concentrate. See gynosium, carpel to bicarpel is syncarpus, ovary bilocular, obliquely pressed. This is a characteristic feature of family. Question can be asked. One of the following family has obliquely placed ovary. What does it mean? See in floral diagram to get it clear. See, this is a bilateral symmetry. This is a mother point and this is a mother line. Ovary supposed to be as a freehand drawing must have been one part this side, one part that side in equal. But it is not in equal. It is obliquely placed. What does it mean? You can see directly. That means you will understand what does that obliquely placed mean. This is what the arrangement of ovary is called. obliquely placed ovary it is as a characteristic mentioned there in gynosium so gynosium carpel to bicarpel is syncarpus ovary bilocular obliquely placed superior placentation is free central is clear now fruits are very tomato brinjal just to cut and see that have same arrangement of seeds very seeds endospermic they do not get into two parts as all monopod seeds are endospermic they cannot be divided into two part this solenesi seeds also you would have observed ghar pe apne chili ke tomato ke ya brinjal ke seed dekhe honge ekdam chapte hote patle hote they cannot be soaked and converted into two part because they are endospermic cotyledons are not developed cotyledons are not developed they are not non endospermic they are not egg albuminous they are endospermic and therefore they cannot be divided into two equal half since cotyledon are not developed please remember the word this is a exceptional family all other dicots they have non endospermic seed this is the only dicot family which has endospermic seed this is again a point of neat question can be asked in neat floral formula as flower has pedicel that is called pushpadan actinomorphic we already discussed this term bisexual male and female together calyx five corolla five fuse androsium five few they are free this is you have to get it correct they are not fused they are not monodelphus it is free therefore it should not be taken in bracket epipetalus gynosium ori two syncarpus fuse and ori superior let see this floral formula by diagram see <coughs> bisexual actinomorphic pedicellate pedicellate that we cannot show here but bisexual you can see actinomorphic you can see calyx sepals five fuse gamosepalus 
therefore sepal calyx sepal 5 gamma sepalus taken in bracket corolla 5 petals 5 hues therefore taken in bracket anther 5 c a 5 epipetalus because they are attached therefore this line shows that anther attached to the petal gynosium g2 c 1 and 2 superior ovary and syncarpus since both the ovaries are fused and therefore it taken into the bracket i hope you got what is the floral formula and this is the floral diagram this is what something different than the rest of the study it is based on your observation you have to observe this morphological characteristic along with floral part then only you can be in a position to explain the family i hope if you practice this diagram 75% of the explanation or description is family with this floral formula and this diagrams. Therefore, I am sure if you get it done, you will describe the family by observing or by visualizing this diagram in your brain. Some of the examples, very interesting example, this family is also known as very first that I have wrote potato family and vegetable family because most of the plants which we use as a vegetable, they belong to this family brinjal, potato, tomato, chili, even black pepper also we use to add into the vegetable. Therefore, this family is known as vegetable family. These are the botanical name, very famous and you can remember brinjal, solanum melangena, potato, solanum tuberosum, tomato, solanum lycopersicum, black pepper, solanum nigrum, chili, something different. It is synonym that is capsicum anum. Economically important. Why? Because it is used as a vegetable. Therefore, it has very high commercial value. Medicinal plant, belladonna and ashwagandha. Belladonna is an alkaloid plant. Belladonna, atropa belladonna. It has alkaloids. It can be used as a hallucinogenic property for its hallucinogenic property to reduce the pain during operation. Also, it administers the insomnia and that is what written in a health chapter and we shall learn later. So, medicinal important. Ashwagandha, very powerful. It is famous for getting rid of from body pain and therefore doctor or Ayurved specialist advise you to have ashwagandha with milk okay therefore it has medicinal importance ornamental plant petunia has very beautiful pink and white color flowers therefore it is grown as ornamental and fumigant that is famous tobacco either you smoke and chew but it is a fumigant so this these are the economically important plants what i have written as well as which are used in a vegetables and that also question can be asked from the first page we have started it was first page what kind of question can be asked i hope you would have got it that whatever described there that you have to describe under this question and you will get the five mark question can be asked for five mark so let you get prepared see this video again and again and describe that family in a sequence what i have given that sequence you please keep Habitat, habit, root, stem, leaf, inflorescence, flowers, calyx, corolla, androsium, gynosium, fruit, seed, and floral formula. You will get five more. Practice it. See video again and again. You will definitely sure get remember and you will get five more. Again, I appeal to like and share our channel as well as press bell icon to receive notification as and when videos are uploaded. If you are new, please subscribe it. Thank you. Happy learning.